Hey, good afternoon and happy Wednesday, April 22nd, 2020. This is Sean Reddy of the Keller Williams Reddy Group, and I'm joined by my usual co-host, Everett Reddy, also of the Keller Williams Reddy Group. And we're here to talk about what's happening in the Tampa Bay real estate market as a result of the coronavirus and its subsequent um, uh, lockdown. And two questions I'm getting quite a bit, actually multiple times every day, is number one, is the real estate market still open? And hard yes, we're gonna talk about that here in a second. Number two, what is my home worth as a result of the pandemic and as a result of the shutdown? And answer to that is it's too early to tell. Uh, we're, that's a lagging measure. And we're watching all of the leading measures of the Tampa Bay real estate market so that we can best predict and most accurately predict what is going to happen in terms of pricing and number of home sales. All right, so we are now in our seventh week of tracking five leading measures every single day. And it's exhausting and it's a lot of numbers. And yes, I geek out and ever geeks out over the numbers, yet it is telling of what is likely to happen uh, going forward. And if you've watched these videos before, I, I kind of uh, put my prediction on what's gonna happen at the tail end of this thing. Of course, that's subject to how long we are in lockdown. Uh, so that said, I want to get into the most important of the leading metrics that will most accurately tell us what our homes will be worth six to 18 months from now, which is number of executed sales contracts uh, in a day over day uh, look. So last week, we actually saw the first week over week increase in sales contracts since the lockdown started back in mid-March. So that's great news. And that could speak to market sentiment, that could speak to just sheer boredom, that could speak to just the time of year. We, this is our busiest time of year in the real estate market. Uh, people's plans haven't necessarily changed because of the pandemic, so they are still buying homes. That is good. They're either you know out and about physically touring homes or they're doing it in this you know new environment where there's a lot of uh, video conferencing tours, there's a lot of 3D renderings, there's a lot of sight unseen purchases. And this week we're actually pacing to blow last week's water, or excuse me, last week's numbers out of the water. Saw 849 contracts last week. That means 849 homes did go under contract. This week we're pacing about 970 homes going under contract. Now, another number that we're watching as a result of uh, these sales, got, he's licking my hand. Gross, buddy. Uh, as a result of these contracts is the number of net listings that are on the market, meaning are there more or less homes on the market this week than last week? And that number continues to go down, continues to go down, continues to go down. Less sellers are putting their homes on the market and homes are still selling. More sellers are pulling their homes off the market, either you know not wanting to deal with the risk, the health risk, or just blindly saying homes are not selling and just pulling it off the market. So what that is telling is that as we went into this thing with our lowest inventory on record yeah. here in Tampa Bay, uh huh, we're gonna come out of it with inventory even lower. We're also gonna come out of it with buyers kind of waiting at the, at the, um, uh, the gates for the country to open back up, for Florida to open back up. And they're likely to rush in. Uh, even though buyer demand is strong right now, as evident by the contracts, there is some deferred, um, uh, uh, interest. There is some, uh, -oh, am I losing you? There, there is some, uh, some people, uh, there's lots of people waiting. So we're going to see a push of buyers into a very tight inventory market. It's going to be kind of a feeding frenzy, at least up front when the country reopens. So there's some ways to take advantage of that, whether you're buying or selling. And I want to talk to you more about that yet it's gonna be at a more micro level. So reach out to us if you are curious about what we think your home's value is going to do. Reach out to us if you're curious about uh, moving in today's environment, buying and selling homes in today's environment. We're here to be a resource uh, and Everett will take great care of you when you call in. So I hope this uh, lends some insight into what the Tampa Bay real estate market is doing as a result of this. I have numbers and numbers and spreadsheets and, and all kinds of information here. So reach out, love to chat more and say goodbye Everett and we're, we're out. See ya.